as a thoracic radiologist, I mostly operate between, you know, the lower neck and like the diaphragm. I will go lower or, or higher, you know, for things like PET scans or vascular studies, things like that. But this is my normal, you know, ROI or, or my normal operating range. And yeah, so as a cardiothoracic radiologist, I have a fellow train, fellowship trained expertise in heart, lung, airway, pleura, imaging, anything that's sort of within the chest. Of course, in my residency, I trained to be a general radiologist where I really was able to read everything. But in most academic centers in particular, you are reading whatever it is that you are fellowship trained, a fellowship trained expert in. So actually, thoracic radiologists are, are rarities. We're hard to come by. I didn't realize this was going to be a plug for chest radiology, but it totally is a great opportunity. If you are interested in radiology, chest radiologists are sorely needed. We are in short supply. And so there are actually jobs kind of all over the country for us just because we're really, we're needed. And, you know, I never understood why, like, I love chest imaging. There are only a few organs, right? You know? in the abdomen, there are so many more organs to, to look at. And so I love chest radiology because I'm like, okay, I have to look at the heart, the mediastinum, the pleura, the lungs, the airways. And then you're kind of like, all right, you know, vessels, of course, but in the abdomen, there are so many more things to look at. Maybe people just like the variety though. So yeah, so, so experts read your imaging and, you know, obviously if someone has a question about something that's in the abdomen and pelvis and I can answer it, I'm glad to do that. We hope you liked this video. To support cancer research and get clear expert answers about cancer, Follow us and visit crackingcancer.org to join the Cracking Cancer community.